What is going on guys, Steven here and today I'm here to bring you another Android tutorial. Because today I want to show you how to root 90% of all the China phones and also a bunch of other phones with just a single click. All you need is just your smartphone, a USB cable, a computer and about 5 to 6 minutes of your time. So let's get directly started. Okay, so now before we can root our smartphone we have to prepare it. I'm now here on my Qbot S308 and you can see, sorry, this device does not have proper root access. So what we're going to do now is we go to the settings of the smartphone. So just go here to settings and then you scroll down until you can see develop options. If you cannot see develop options, you have to go to about the phone and here you have to tap exactly seven times at build number. You should now see you are now a developer. Now just go back by pressing the back button and enter the develop options. Here make sure that USB debugging is ticked. That has to be ticked in order to connect it to the computer properly. So just make sure it's ticked and then you can go to the computer and grab your USB cable to connect it. So there we go. Okay guys, we're now on the computer and now you have to download two important things. First of all, you have to download the correct ADB drivers. Because without the correct drivers, your smartphone doesn't get recognized by the computer in USB debugging mode. Then you will need the root tool we are going to use, and we are going to use Root Genius, which works for a lot of smartphones. So let me show you the downloads. As always, you can find the download links down below in the description. And you can download the ADB drivers here from pdanet.co. And that's an auto installer, all you have to do is just download it, double click to run it, and it does the rest. So you can find here the version 4.15 installer for Windows 8, 7, Vista and XP. Just download that, run it, and after the installation is complete, please reboot your system. After you're back in your system, just go to shuaim.com. The link is always down below in the description. And here you can download the root tool we are going to use, which is Root Genius. So you can see here it supports more than 10,000 Android phones without installation. So that's really easy, and most China phones are supported. Also some other phones, some brand phones. So just try it if it works. If it doesn't work, you just have to try um, another method to, on how to root it. And just make sure that you don't have a locked bootloader or something, because otherwise this will may not work. But this does work on the most MTK China phones. Okay, so let's just download this application. I already have it here on my desktop. And what I have to do now is connect my smartphone to the computer, just with the USB cable, so just connect it. Make sure that USB debugging is ticked, as we have done before. And then you should see device attached, click here to connect to PDANet, just ignore that. And now we are going to start the root tool, which is root genius and which should be placed somewhere on your desktop. Now just right click it and go to run as administrator, so just to be sure. And after it has loaded up, so just give it a few seconds, you should see in the left bottom corner, connected but not rooted. And on the right side you should see a green clickable root button. And yeah, that means everything is ready to go. And now to root the smartphone, just press the root button. This can take up to 10 or 15 minutes and maybe your smartphone will reboot. Just be patient, don't disconnect it, don't touch it and just wait until the process is finished. And when it was successful, you will get a message, it was successful. And if this tool can't root your smartphone, you will get unsupported phone. Okay, so just be patient and wait until it's finished. And that's what I will do right now. And after it was successful, you should see congratulations root successfully. Now you can remove built-in apps, flash your smartphone or download ROMs. And you can click at those boxes here so they redirect you to shuaim.com where you can download a lot of Chinese ROMs. But just watch out, the site is in Chinese only, so you have to translate that. And yeah, you can also download the Shuaim application to remove built-in applications. And yeah, that's pretty cool. But let's go to the smartphone now and let's see if the route was really successful. And then let's install Super SU. Okay guys, we're now back on the smartphone. And if everything was successful, you should find a new application here in the main menu, which is called King User. So that's something like Super User, but not that good. So I would suggest to go to the Play Store and download Super SU. So just search for Super SU and download the application which looks like the Superman symbol, okay? 
then just wait until it is installed and now you can check your root status with root checker. So just go here to verify root and yeah, congratulations, this device has now root access. And now it's time to update the SuperSU binaries. So just run SuperSU which you have downloaded before and in the app go here to continue because we have to update the binary. Here you have to choose the normal way and if you can see this permission request then just grant it and after that you should see installation success. Oh yeah, so you should now have SuperSU installed on your system and you should have proper root access. If that method was not successful, please visit chinadevices.com. You can find the link down below in the description. Just register, write a new thread and I will try to reply as soon as possible. So if that was helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. I would be very thankful about that. And as always guys, thanks for watching and I hope I see you again in my next videos. Bye bye.